got all of those people now ready and mobilized, and they're going to be on the move next weekend to get themselves into the path. We're now one week away from the total solar eclipse, and in the next day or two, we'll get a more accurate idea of just how many people may descend on our region to enjoy it. Eclipse chasers are people who've booked hotel, motel rooms in several cities that are in the path of totality, and they wait until now when they get a look at the weather forecast to actually decide where to go. News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey joins us now. Jen, we don't want to jinx it. <laughs> so far, yeah. our weather's looking pretty good a week from today. So many of those chasers may end up actually end up here, right? Yeah, that's right, Brad. As we've been reporting, most of the hotel rooms in this region are booked solid for this coming long weekend, and they have been for months and months. But some of those reservations were made by Eclipse Chasers, who right now are deciding whether to gamble on it being a clear day here or cancel and pick another city in the path. Deb Ross experienced a total solar eclipse in 2017. Once you have had this experience of totality, you want it again, and you want to find the next place in the world and go there to have that experience again because there's nothing like it on Earth. Those are the folks we call eclipse chasers. A serious eclipse chaser, uh, especially a rich one, already has hotels booked in Texas, in Indiana, in Ohio, here and in Maine. And they made those reservations many, many months ago. But now that we're a week out, they look at the forecast in each of those cities and make a final choice. They drop the rest of them and go to the one place that they've chosen. What that means is that in the last few days before any eclipse, a lot of hotel room inventory becomes open. Either for friends who currently only have a reservation on your couch or for those who are planning to day trip and now decide to make a night of it. Looking at that forecast and hearing all of the hype all over the country, there's going to be a lot of last minute people making their plans to come up here. You've seen the highway signs warning people of heavy traffic. The folks who deal with that locally have a plan. So mapping out where most of the folks will be coming from for the Rochester Museum and Science Center. They've shared with us where their bookings are coming from. Amazingly, everywhere from Maine down to the middle Atlantic, people are, will be streaming here to Rochester. So we're very fortunate that, uh, like, unlike other counties around us, is we have a tremendous transportation network. The Monroe County Emergency Operations Center will be monitoring all traffic and blue light cameras closely. So both city leaders and county leaders will be co-located here. And they have a team of people on standby to help if needed. So another 65 individuals will be stationed at uh, each of these tabletop uh, locations representing um, entities from Department of Transportation at the state level, local level, law enforcement, fire, EMS, American Red Cross, uh, RG&E, uh, United Grid. Uh, so anybody who has a direct effect on public safety will be here at the EOC helping us manage the day. For thousands of people who will see totality for the first time ever and thousands of others who are chasing it. I have spent the last seven years convincing myself that it's fine if it's cloudy, but when I looked at the weather forecast this morning and I saw sun, I thought, oh, could it really be? Let's hope. Glenn is not letting me make any promises, but it's looking good. Over the weekend, the map of the path of totality changed slightly based on some new calculations of the sun. Nothing to be concerned about in most of our region. Center line is still going directly over Brockport. Rochester is still boldly in the path. But the line shifted a bit north of some of our southern Finger Lakes towns and villages, Penyan and Kiuka, to name a few. So it's possible if you're in the southern Finger Lakes, you may need to drive a little north to get back into the path. I have the new map linked on my Facebook and Twitter. Twitter pages if you want to take a closer look. Brett.